Today we've got drum thrones. Now I know what you're thinking. Corey, are you really going to spend an entire video talking about drum thrones? Well, yes. A couple of reasons. One, the series finale of Game of Thrones is this weekend. We couldn't resist the idea of doing a Game of Thrones video. Two, you'd be surprised how many people come into the store not knowing any of the different features that are available in a throne. Many people think it's just a seat that you sit on. How can there be that many differences? Well, there are quite a few differences and that's what we want to help lay out for you today. Three, we're going to play a game. We came up with an awesome Game of Thrones drummer-themed game that we're calling the Game of Thrones Drum Throne Game. To the Game, game of, of Thrones, Thrones Drum, Drum Throne, Throne Game. game. Here's how the game works. We took some famous quotes from the Game of Thrones series and changed them around to be more drum band slash gig related. All these quotes are on pieces of paper, along with the original quote. Each player takes a turn reading the original quote, and then the drumified version. The other player's job is to try to not laugh. If you laugh, the other person gets a point. If a player laughs while also drinking water and it goes everywhere, the other player gets five points. Today I will be facing off against my coworker and fellow Game of Thrones fan, Joe. Joe of House Amadio. Hodor is keeping score. Thank you, Hodor, for help, helping us out. Hodor. The fourth reason we are talking about Drum Thrones today is we are running a Game of Thrones series finale sale on all thrones. Stay tuned for the coupon code. What do we say to the god of death? Not today. What do we say to the rushing bass player, Joe? Not today. That's good. Yeah. That's good. That's a point yeah. for me. Hodor Market. Hodor. Yes, I realize that the Game of Thrones Drum Throne game has very little to do with Drum Thrones other than the fact that we are sitting on them. But I couldn't resist a title that had the words Game and Throne in it twice. A Lannister always pays his debts. The new quote is, <laughs> A drummer always has his debts. That's true. It's true. That's true. We, That's see, we see that a lot. Yeah. yeah. At their most basic and cheapest, Drum Thrones are a simple seat on a base with either a set number of predetermined heights that you can set in place with a bolt, or a height adjustment that can be set to any height but also must be locked in place with a memory lock. These do tend to be lighter in weight, but overall these tend to be best at home with younger beginners. They are lighter in weight, and they hold lighter weight if you get what I'm saying. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. Our quote. Night gathers. And now the gig begins. Most, most gigs are at night, yeah. With the bolt style throne, you are at the mercy of wherever the holes are for the height. And if you want to change the height, it can take a minute. These are good for beginners who may not be adjusting many things around and aren't sharing the drum set with many other people. When you play the Game of Thrones, you win or you die. When you play a gig with a wobbly throne, you win or you die. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. Wobbly thrones suck. All right, one point to Joe. <laughs> Some notes on the memory lock style. While you can adjust it to any height on this throne, it is virtually impossible to lock it in place while also sitting on it. It takes a little bit of extra work to get these set in place, so if you're sharing a drum set with other people, this style can get a little tedious. Also, if a memory lock gets lost, the throne will not work. Do not even try to see if it will stay in place for a gig. I've taken plenty of sudden mid-song plummets myself. The past is gone for good. You can sit here mourning its departure or prepare for the future. The drum solo is gone for good. <laughs> mourning its departure or prepare for the future. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's gone for good. <laughs> Thank you. Please, please stop soloing, Joe. I grew up with soldiers. I learned how to die a long time ago. I grew up with saxophone players. I learned how to die a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, that's a yeah. point. Count it, Hodor. Hodor! 
The middle range of thrones, $100 to $200 is where you will see most of the nicer features you can get with a drum throne. Bigger, more cushy seats, a heavier, more sturdy base, and quick, seamless height adjustments. With an array of seat sizes and shapes and color options available to fit your preferences, let's talk about more of the objective features of the drum thrones. Joe, if you ever call me a sister again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. If you ever call me too loud again, I'll have you strangled in your sleep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Do you ever get that from your band? Uh, I don't. No. I don't. The main height adjustment types that we see at this level are a spindle based and a gas cylinder based. The spindle has been around longer and is quick and easy to adjust and lock in place. Just a couple of spins and you're ready to go. The gas cylinder style are a simple lever that lets you adjust the height of the throne with a simple lift. The biggest difference between the two styles is that the gas cylinder usually has just a little bit of bounce to it. Some people like this, some people can't stand it, so it's always good if you can try one of these out first before buying it. If you think this has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. If you think this drum solo has a happy ending, you haven't been paying attention. <laughs> you think how the drum yeah. solo was, that's good. Yeah, yeah. I've gotten to that point in a drum solo before. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know where this is going to end. Yeah, just end it. Hodor, what's our score? Hodor! Right on. Both of these are great for any scenario where a drum set is being shared by several drummers, like at a teaching studio or rehearsal space, or even if your kid is learning to play drums and you just want to sit down every now and then and play around. These types of thrones make height adjustment very convenient. Chaos isn't a pit. Chaos is a ladder. The cover band gig isn't a pit. The cover band gig is a ladder. Okay, that's good. You gotta Climb up the ladder to get the other gigs. Pay your dues. Pay your dues. When you get above $200 for a drum throne, you're getting into some extra features like custom seats, a super sturdy bass with four legs, thrones with backrests, all kinds of stuff. The night is dark and full of terrors. The bathroom at the... <laughs> okay. The night is dark and full of terrors. The bathroom at the gig... <laughs> It was dark and full of tears. Okay. The bathroom. That's, yeah, okay. That's a point for both of us. Yeah, that's a good one. Because that's true. I've lived that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We put links in the description to some of our most popular thrones. Check them out. Use the coupon code GOT to get an extra 10% off a new drum throne. And claim your rightful seat at the helm of your drum set and rule the stage. Everyone is mine to torment. Every singer is mine to torment. <laughs> yes. Odor, score? Oh. Odor. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe so you get notified every time something cool comes in for our drum store.